Today in the edit room, we're going to look at using drop zones with motion generators. Uh, so here I have a generator that I created in motion, and I placed the drop zones to come on at different times. The first one's there from the beginning, the second one starts at 10 seconds, the third is at 15 seconds, and the fourth is at 20 seconds. So um, if I select the generator and I go to the inspector, I can click on the little drop well here and choose the frame either from the browser or from the timeline. And I'll just click and click a black clip. In fact, I'll go to the first one and start this one at the very beginning of that. And apply. And then the second one, I'll start maybe um, at 10 seconds, roughly. And apply. And then this third one, I'll start at well, I'll just start at zero again, or as close as I can anyway. Okay, so we've got the beginning there. And remember the second one I started at 10 seconds, but notice that it's starting at 20 seconds and not the 10 seconds I, I chose. And then same for the third one, it's starting at 15 seconds and not at the very beginning that I chose. So how do I get the exact frame that I want in these drop zones that are starting at different times? Well, one thing you could do here, let me hit option X to clear my in and out there. I'm not going to pull this entire video down to be the length of my generator. And then I'm going to create a compound clip option G hit. Okay. You can rename it if you like, and then I'll double click on it and go inside of the compound clip. And then I'll use the upper arrow to go to the very beginning of it, and then Option W to set a gap. I'll select the gap and do Control D to set the timing of the gap. Now, back in my generator, I know that my drop zone 4 starts at 20 seconds. So I'm going to just type 20 dot and hit return. That makes my gap exactly 20 seconds before my video starts playing. So I'll go back out of my compound clip. And now I'll select the generator and go to my fourth drop zone here. And I'll start at the very first frame here. And I'll click apply clip. So now you can see, well, I got pretty close. I got to a second anyway. But you can see my fourth generator is now starting on the frame that I want it to start with because I created this compound clip and put that gap inside the compound clip. I hope this helps you with your drop zone editing. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time in the edit room.